Hi everyone, this is Jace with Elevate Strategies, here to help you conquer the NPTE. Today we're going to go through arterial blood gases and how to solve these problems on the exam. We will cover what the normal values for arterial blood gases are, including pH, partial pressure of carbon dioxide, and bicarbonate. We will then review the direction of shift for each one of those values, whether it's trending toward acidosis or alkalosis. And finally, we will put everything together to explain how to interpret the arterial blood gas problems. So in order to know what is abnormal, we need to know what is normal. I highly recommend memorizing the values that we're going to do on this slide. And it's not as hard as you would think it would be, uh, most of us know that the normal pH is 7.35 to 7.45. So you just drop the seven for the partial pressure of carbon dioxide. We end up with a normal value of 35 to 45. Now bicarbonate, you might have to just memorize, but that isn't too much different than partial pressure of carbon dioxide. It's gonna be 22 to 26 as our normal. So when we do not have normal values for these three measurements, we tend to see that a shift below the normal value trends toward acidosis or alkalosis, and a shift above the normal value trends the opposite way. But it's different for each one of these values, and that's what we're gonna go through right now. So with pH, we know that anything normal is 7.35 to 7.45. So anything below 7.35 is going to be trending toward acidosis. Anything above 7.45 is going to be trending toward alkalosis. For our partial pressure of carbon dioxide, it is the exact opposite. Anything less than 35 is trending toward alkalosis. Anything more than 45 is trending toward acidosis. Finally, with bicarbonate, it switches back so that anything less than 22 trends towards acidosis and anything more than 26 trends toward alkalosis. So it doesn't really matter what order you memorize these values in. I tend to do it this way in my head because for some reason, having them opposite of each other makes more sense to me, but do whatever works best for you. As long as you know the normal values and you know which direction we're trending toward if it's not normal. Now we need one more piece of information in order to be able to interpret all of our information to solve an arterial blood gas problem. And we focus on partial pressure of carbon dioxide and bicarbonate because each one of these has a specific function in the body. So carbon dioxide is associated with our respiratory system, which should make sense because we breathe in oxygen and we breathe out carbon dioxide. Bicarbonate is then associated with our metabolic system. So this is how we determine if we've got respiratory, whatever it is, alkalosis, acidosis, or metabolic, whatever it is, acidosis and alkalosis. So now let's actually solve a problem. So we like to start with pH as this gives us a broad overview as to what's happening in our body. We see that the value here is 7.25. And if we remember, we said our normal was 7.35 to 7.45. So it's a little less than normal. And if you recall that trends toward acidosis in this case. So we know that we have some sort of acidosis going on. We're about to figure out if it's respiratory or metabolic but we know for sure that it's acidosis. The second value that we can look at is our partial pressure of carbon dioxide, and we see that it's 47. If we recall, our normal was 35 to 45, so it's a little bit high, and that is trending toward our acidosis side as well. So finally, we look at bicarbonate, we see that it's 24. Our normal value was 22 to 26, so that is actually normal. It's not trending toward either alkalosis or acidosis at this point. Since the carbon dioxide was abnormal, but the bicarbonate was normal, we now know that we have respiratory acidosis in this case. And that is how we put all of our information together to solve a problem. Okay, let's do one other problem. Let's start again with pH and we see that it's 7.46 which in fact falls outside of our normal range. It's a little bit high, so we're trending toward our alkalosis side. So again, we already know something is alkalosis. When we look at our partial pressure of carbon dioxide, we see that it's 46. So once again, it's a little bit too high. Now that one is trending toward acidosis. 
And finally, our bicarbonate is also a little bit too high. And in that case, it's trending toward alkalosis. So with the last problem, we had one normal value and one abnormal value. So it was really easy to figure out, is it respiratory or is it metabolic? So in this case, when we have both partial pressure of carbon dioxide and bicarbonate off, what do we do? We're gonna look for the ones that match. So our pH was alkalosis. The other one that trends toward alkalosis is gonna be bicarbonate in this case. So therefore we have metabolic alkalosis. And if you have two abnormal values, that's how you figure out whether it's respiratory or metabolic. The other question that I see a lot of times is about compensation. So our body is always trying to maintain homeostasis. It's always trying to make sure we're in a very narrow range of values. And when we trend toward either alkalosis or acidosis, our body is very smart and it's gonna to try to kick in and change that for us so that we end up with a normal pH. pH is probably the most important value and if that is thrown off, our bodies have a lot of problems. So there are a couple of ways that we can tell if compensation is occurring. And one is that we're gonna see that the pH is normal, even if partial pressure of carbon dioxide or bicarbonate is not normal. So let's do an example. Here our pH is 7.42 and we said that the normal is 7.35 to 7.45. So it's in a normal range. And that tells us that it's in compensation. So if it's in the normal range, how do we know is it alkalosis, is it acidosis, and, and make that determination? Well, even though we have a range of normal, the exact midpoint of normal is 7.40. So if anything is less than 7.40, it's still trending toward acidosis. If anything is more than 7.40, it's still trending toward alkalosis. And that includes the normal range of 7.35 to 7.45. So our 7.42 tips us toward the alkalosis side. So we have something alkalosis at the moment. So if we look at the partial pressure of carbon dioxide, it's 24, which is too little. So that is gonna be trending toward our alkalosis side as well. And that already tells us that we have a respiratory alkalosis since those two match up. The pH is trending toward alkalosis and the partial pressure of carbon dioxide is trending toward alkalosis. Our, bar our bicarbonate is also off. It's too little. It's less than 22, but that was trending toward acidosis, so it doesn't match with our pH. So there's an example of if you do have a normal pH, you can still solve the problem. So as we just saw, the second way that we can tell if compensation is occurring is both the partial pressure of carbon dioxide and bicarbonate values are gonna show up as abnormal. And that especially applies if the pH is already showing as normal. So that's our biggest indicator, but we can sort of see that when both values are abnormal, it's because our body is trying to fix itself um, because it's very smart, so it can, Fix, our, fix itself to some degree before we have to seek medical attention. All right, that is all for today. Thank you for joining me. Check out the links below for some more problems for interpreting and solving arterial blood gases. Also, there is a link to our website for other NPTE problems on varying topics. And if there are any questions, feel free to send an email also provided in the link below. See you next time. Happy studying.